Hey guys, it's just a quick thing to say that I have a new Patreon, Patreon, pa pa Patreon, Matthias Kerr, and I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing to me on Patreon. If you would like to join Matthias Kerr in joining me on Patreon or whatever, you can find the link in the description below and also in the comment section, I think, if I remember. So <laughs> you get a bunch of cool rewards and stuff, so check it out. And thank you again to Matthias. And man, look how weird this looks when I put like OBS on my main screen while I do screen capture. That looks really weird. Also, the video got cut off a little bit here. This one's a little bit strange, but the series is going really well. So I really appreciate all your feedback, guys. Bye-bye. Some E4 Byzantium. It's 1532. We are now about to go rotate our forces into another little fight. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them down into um, a conflict into Mamluks. Yes. And the reason we're going to do that is because it's going to be good. <laughs> I want to try and take this big chunk of territory and start working on them. We do have some Sunni zealots in Konya. That's all right. All right. Our forces are now kind of gathering themselves again. Beautiful. We will move our forces to Cyprus, which is going to be our launching point for this war. All right. Very good. Is that the goal? We're going to take two ferry crossings, but that's all right. And then we're going to jump right into it. As you can see, we do get recover Western Isles. Control of Corsica and Sardinia will secure the Italian coast, while the Balearis will serve as a springboard to the shores of Hispania, giving us claims onto Tripolitania and De Gerber. I don't want to do that just yet, however, because I am still, well, about to fight the Mamluks, but I will do that later. And then, of course, I need to take uh, that big old chunk of territory. That'll be real nice. Right. Just a couple ferry trips, not a big deal. Again, we can honestly handle very much anybody. Uh, we have military access with uh, Florence, which we don't need anymore. Well, I, can you just not? <laughs> it's a bit annoying. Tech trade in Crimea, I suppose. Damn, I wish I hadn't had forces there. Ah, they won't give me fleet basing rights. Oh, wait. I could just walk out. I could have walked out the whole time. Wasted a bunch of diplo power for no reason. Right, now let's get it with these guys. Ah, I'm going to call in Tunis. No, I don't want that. Let me see this. It's going to get us claims onto Tunis. Well, I guess we could just take them, couldn't we? Who else are Tunis allied with? Not really anyone. I mean, we'll just call in Tunis then. Screw it. See how much we can get it for. If I can just get both in with two wars, why not, right? Right, away we go. No, oh, my local goods modifier. Right. Away we go. Hello. Gonna take those claims. They no one will join us, of course. That's fine. Uh Tunis will not join. That is fantastic. Which means we can fight them in a separate war as long as we remember to cancel out their war. So we will call on to Tunis. Not call to Tunis. The goal before Antikiata. Brilliant. That's really good for us. Oh, that's fantastic. Go away, light ship. No one cares about you. Uh, we will turn off a few key forts that we don't need. Looking good, looking real good. And it means we don't have to fight Tunis as well, which means you can fight them at our own pace. Additionally, we can now get a new 
uh, slot, which is great. And um, I will pick a mill idea. And the idea I'm going to be picking is probably going to be offensive ideas for the siege capability. Um, and land force that modifier of Grand Army is always nice. Quantity has some benefits with the National Manpower modifier of 50%. So as I get bigger, quantity becomes less and less useful. So Manpower Recovery Speed helps deal with rebellions massively. Supply Limit modifier 33% as well. You know, actually, I'm somewhat considering it. I mean, I also get I get land force that modifier 50%. And I am sp insanely rich. I am very rich. Uh, I, I mean, siege ability, it's not really a question. Yeah, I mean, I could just overwhelm them with numbers. Better generals is always nice, but... I think I'd rather start going quantity and just start overwhelming them with manpower. And just having unending amounts of soldiers. Quality has potential as well, but I'm trying to go in world conquest route, so I feel like the quantity is better for that. I don't know. Uh, E4. World conquest. Ideas. <laughs> uh, 1.28. Look at that. It's a very frequent Google search. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I don't know, man. I still feel like quantity is going to be good for that limiting, to stop the limiting, limiting factor. Uh... I'm thinking quantity. I mean, the thing is with my base ideas, I have 10% manpower. Quality of inventory because a 20% infantry combat policy. While that is fantastic, I'm not really going to be worrying about the inability to fight. You know what I mean? I also already get discipline here. I'm thinking it's going to be quantity for me, so I don't have to worry about manpower. We have until I've been to choose you. We should serve as a rank here in our military. We only take the poorest and the most desperate. But now, though, we are going to open up our ranks to everyone who isn't rich. It also gave us stab cost modifier delegated power. The greatest weakness of our system is the role of the emperor. The autocratic and semi-divine emperor has so much power that it encourages civil wars. By delegating more authority, we will discourage civil wars by reducing the value of the prize and making nobles more content to remain inside the system with the power they will wield. Filling up my water. I do love that 20% infantry combat bonus policy, yes. I will agree with that. Alright, cool. 84,000 manpower now, pretty good. Right. Good man. Ah, I went the wrong way. Whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie. Right. Let's go kill their, their, their ships because they are starting to become a problem. Oh, the sneaky boys escaped. They're off, they are. And QQ has just uh, given me a little treat. Oh, nice. Alright. Let's get these guys over there. We just basically need to kind of blow up them, their navy now to stop them from... Uh, you know, let's, let's go this way. We need to stop them being able to move troops around, essentially. <laughs> we have 60,000 men here, and that's already all the more men than they have, so that's great. They are attempting to smuggle ships around the corner, which is not ideal. And it looks like they've got themselves a bit trapped. Beautiful. Yeah, the armies are starting to make a move. Another one destroyed. Beautiful. Uh, is that, That's basically the fleet's gone. Fantastic. We've already beaten their fleets. Ah, oh, we can't help them. Lame. What? Oh, get out of here. They're just walking right on by, aren't they? Rude. 
Alright, we're fine. Good. So I guess once we take this, we have to rotate north. Sadly. What? Ah, oh, I didn't put that fort on. I didn't realize it was a fort. That's not good. What's the problem here? Ah, oh, you're stuck. What? How many bloody men is this? What? Ah, oh, it's only half. Oh, you jackass. You know what? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You go down there and start sieging. We'll take care of this. You go that way. We'll take care of this, my friend. Let's go. Well, they're not touching us elsewhere, so that's good. Start blowing them up. Show them what's what, guys. The suit of gold. Absorb the possibility of creating gold ever since her early childhood. The government of her are open to how this grown into an obsession. Every book and supposed that expert has been gathered in Constantinople to be examined and questioned. Gain, lose 75 ducats and gain diplo power. Well, yeah, obviously. I believe all that does is it makes a random province gain gold. I really don't want that. I have enough money. Gold is just going to cause massive instability issues. So I just get another merchant here. So the great trade must extend the right citizenship to people who live abroad. Fantastic. It's going to help out a lot. Because now... Where's this going? To Genoa, okay. Click from trade! Beautiful. Oh, someone's hired some dudes. A little rude. I'm just going to keep grinding out those sieges. And we're looking real good right now. There's not really a lot anyone can do. And they are on tech 10. We are on tech 11. Tech 11 is quite a big one. So, yeah, I think we'll be fine. Let's get them. Okay. They also are on highlands and a river, so getting minus two. The general is only a 3 1, whereas mine is a 0 4. And shock is still the one we want to focus on. Eyeball, thank you so much for the follow, buddy, and welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you here. Yeah, lots of kid kills there. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose, we kind of somewhat, not lost it, but we lost a few more men than we def we needed to, I would say. Uh, so we definitely need to be more careful there. We did lose 16,000 men against their 14,000, but it was still a victory, which is good. Uh, now we're going to just kind of keep heading south. We'll worry about those other sieges later on. So we're now just going to basically chase them down. And beat them up when we find them. Unless they're going north. Yep, they're going north, so we have to keep fighting them. Okay. Alright, cool. We've got a siege stack over there, doing work. Oh, yeah. Oi. There's the Siege of Al Karik. Grabbing stuff as we go. Beautiful. Buy maps? Nah, we're fine. We don't need it. We can just push through. We are now walking into a Highlands, but that's all right. Uh, actually, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, 643. Oh, that's not bad. 266, yeah. Uh, dispute cessation has caused a pretender to rise up. For some reason, my legitimacy is only three. That's distressing. That's very distressing. 
Uh, missionaries. Morale of armies and navies. Eh, nah, I'd rather just keep this. I don't really need the missionaries. Right. It is a bit of a pretender army here, which is a problem. Only a slight one. Okay, we need to kind of bail these guys up, and I think we just need to start fighting here. Good. As long as those uh, Valachians will get their butts over here. That's it, lads. Yes. A. Hey. Kill these rebels real quick. And Siege Specialist. Oh, you Siege Specialist. That's what I like to hear. Good. Kill them. We are fighting a lot of fights, guys. So, obviously, the goals here, we're going to take things we have as goals. Here is back. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you. Take anything. That, so, the idea here is obviously take everything we have a claim on. If at all possible. There used to be a button. I swear there used to be a button that was take all claims. Now there isn't. Very distressing. Right, that is 138% AE. So, that's not happening. Holy Christ, that's a lot of AE. What the hell? We also need to make them annul their alliance. Oh, look at that. Tunis um, is automatically annul their alliance. Brilliant. Although, to be honest, does it really matter if I get a big coalition with a bunch of Muslim powers? Like, it doesn't... It actually doesn't matter. I also kind of need to do the mission. That's Tripoli. Where's the one I need? Uh... Like the Holy Land and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. I still need to get... I still need to conquer Central Anatolia if I want to do that. Bugger. Ah, oh, I can't get the rest of my claims on the Mamluks until I... Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, I have to jump... Oh, Karakwanu is guaranteeing them. I'll have to jump onto them as well. Look, let's just take all our claims. Yeah, I, just, I want them all. Give them to me. But yeah, it's a... Oh, no. Karakawenlu is too much. I cannot handle Karakawenlu at the same time. That is genuinely too much. Uh, the Mamluks, yeah, that's, that's too much. I can't fight that. That's okay. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that off. We'll take those four. God, why is it so much? Oh, they are some of the most valuable provinces in the entire country, aren't they? Fair enough, you got me there. All right. Kill them. Thank you very much. Now go kill them. Get over there. Getting little siege stacks here and there. It all works out in the end, lads. Okay. Looking good. Now we're going to roast seats south. Keep getting those little sieges everywhere. Nothing's happening in the west, which is great. And then we're up to this we could Oh, they've taken me there. Oh, baby, where'd you come from? Oh, there they are. Oh, nice. We can actually stand here. Brilliant. Oi. Oh, bugger. Losing war score completely unnecessarily. Good. I'm gonna rotate south now. And go and kill these little armies we found. This will stop them being able to reinforce them later. Be very useful.
Could you not, please? Just reinforce that. Yeah.